Hello everyone and welcome back to the Geek Plan. I am Jeff and welcome to another episode of the Cantina. Today we're actually trying a beer from a brewery I've never had before. I've heard great things about it. It's called Brew Dog. It's brewed in, in Ohio. Um, I believe, I don't know if it's actually in Columbus or not. Columbus, yep. Mm -hmm. Columbus, Ohio. Brewed 9, 9.5% 9 alcohol by volume, by the way. It's a 12 ounce. It's an India Pale Ale, natural flavors. Uh, so it's Brew Dog. Pulp Patriot Black Current, a Black Current Milkshake IPA. Sounds very interesting, doesn't it? Yes. Um, United We Stand for Better Beer, Fiercely Defiant and Independent. And it says Dessert for the Daring on the side there. So, they're a little Columbus brewed kind of thing. Looks like a crossword, too. Yeah, I'll just I'll just turn the can around. There's not like a lot to see. It's a 12 ounce. The colors kind of show it off. It's Blackberry, Black Current Milkshake IPA. There's the BrewDog logo there. I've heard great things about this, this brewery. You just never had anything from them. And when I saw this and it says Black Current Milkshake IPA, I'm like, we're going to give this a try because the last couple of milkshake IPAs I've really enjoyed. Uh, so we're going to try this thing. For those of you who don't know, Black Current is basically an edible berry. Uh, it grows on a bush, uh, like a shrub kind of thing. But yeah, I was kind of looking looking it up to see. Um, it, it looks like a small purple black grape. It's like tart, like passion fruit with like a dark berry flavor, not unlike a raspberry. So it's very similar. I wasn't 100% sure. That's why I decided to look up what that was. But let's uh, crack it open and let's take a look at what it pours like. I'm wondering if it's going to be dark since it's a black currant and it's a dark fruit. Yeah, actually it is. It's much darker than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. We'll get the color held up here. Now, I'll tell you what, for being a milkshake IPA, the head on this thing is dissipated really quickly. Um, can I smell it? But here's the color on this thing. Very, very interesting color. It's got a lot of floaties in the bottom there, but it is a uh, milkshake IPA. Uh, so I'm wondering what we're going to smell. I'm guessing the black curb. I'm wondering if we're going to get a little bit of a citrusy tone as well, too. That's what I thought. It's kind of a tart, like fruity flavor like smell and then you can smell the hops like the citrusy kind of hop smell as well smell the more you smell the more you like actually really sm like take a deep breath in you can smell that like berry kind of like i guess the black currant's supposed to be like a raspberry it's like the last thing you smell the first thing you smell like is like the hops like that kind of citrus kind of smell and then you get that you get that like almost like a raspberry smell like a, the black currant or what it is but uh let's give it a try um yeah like i said really dark i'm really really intrigued on this beer for sure but uh cheers everyone hope you're all doing well interesting as hell very interesting So, first off, you get that kind of like citrusy, hoppy flavor, and then you get a little bit of bitterness, and then you get that like black currant flavor that comes in with it, and it all stays together until the end, and you can still taste it. It's like all kind of combines together as one. Very unique taste, very good flavor in my opinion. Um, not overly bitter either. I've noticed a lot of these milkshake IPAs are not as overly bitter as some IPAs are. You really get that kind of tart, like taste that they're saying what a black currant tastes like. You really do get that. It's really good, actually. It's actually really, really good. Hopefully I'm going to go back and get, because I think the BrewDog stuff comes in six packs, I believe, since they're 12 ounce cans, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's, wow, that's really good. Very good. Almost has, 
like a creamy texture to it. Almost. The last milkshake IPA I had did have that, that kind of a creamy like aftertaste to it. But yeah, that's that's good. I like that. Very well mixed flavors. Very good flavor profile. Um, just really well done beer. And the aftertaste there now I'm getting is just, just that like tart fruity taste. With BrewDog being in Ohio, if you live in the Midwest, you're most likely to find this thing. Um, I've seen it northern Indiana, Chicago area too. So... Just look on our website and check. They probably have a beer finder. A lot of these breweries have beer finders on the website. Some of them don't, of course. And like me and Jason said, the best thing to do is to go, go to your local liquor store and your place that you go to, to buy your beers. Let them know you're trying to find this brewery and a specific brew and have them reach out to the distributor and see if they can find it for you. That's always the best way to do it. That's really good. I'm really hoping I can recover the data from this hard drive because me and Jason had some really good stuff. Really good stuff I wanted to see you guys to see. Like really, really amazing beers. I'm trying to describe my, well, the thing I'm, I'm wanting to say here. Out of the three, maybe four milkshake IPAs I've had, they do almost have like a creamy aftertaste to them. All of them. Yeah. Now that's kind of opening up a little bit more. You smell more. You smell more of the black currant than you do the the hop smell. Much more, much more as it kind of opens up a little bit and breathes out a little bit. But it's it's such a good flavor on it. Or sorry, good color on it. I really enjoy that color. I'm really was actually. Expecting it to be a little less dark than this, but I'm I'm very I was very pleasantly surprised. I was very present pleasantly surprised by the color. Holy shit, I can't talk today. But yeah, I really like that's a really great color on that thing. And it does have the head on it still a little bit, but you know, for being an IPA, the head dissipated so much quicker than usual. So that was nice. I remember me and Jason aren't like brewmasters. We don't know a lot of the technical aspects that go into brewing a beer. I've researched some of it, but not enough to speak confidently on it. So, um, looking forward to getting to some breweries with Jason and maybe going through the tours and stuff and seeing how brew beers are made and how specific beers that we enjoy. I'm really digging that color quite a bit. Kind of got off topic there, didn't I? Yeah. Very good beer. Uh, thumbs up for this one for sure. Uh, this is definitely something I would go back and buy uh, for being an IPA and like a heavier IPA, like the milkshake IPAs. It is an easy drinking beer, very shockingly. Um, I didn't expect to taste this and be like, okay, I can have two or three of these at night. But the thing is too, at 9.5% alcohol by volume, I will compare that with something. So back in the 31 days of Halloween, when I did all the pumpkin beer reviews, there was an Imperial pumpkin ale by spooky tooth it was like 9.5 percent alcohol and you could taste the alcohol unfortunately this being the same thing the 9.5 you can't you can't taste it it's like heavily alcohol you know what i mean um like that other one was which was unfortunate because i heard some great things about spooky tooth and me and jason were talking the other day too he still has a beer a pumpkin beer from a brewery that's no longer around the last couple of years has been gone here in our local area and it's a pumpkin beer. I think it's called Harold by Tin Man. It's in his refrigerator. It's from 2016. So we're going to crack that open and record a review of that, like probably in August or so. So it's ready to, to go in October for the 31 days of Halloween 2021, which I am bringing back. And in May for the halfway to Halloween, I will actually be doing some content for that day. I'm actually working on some stuff now. I still have that stuff. Thank God. Uh, otherwise, I would have been screwed and really pissed off. 
because it's the Halloween figure that I got last year, the 1-6 scale Michael Myers from Trick or Treat Studios that I never did a video on. Like, I had it all almost all edited and uh, decided to change it and do it on Final Cut instead of it on iMovie. And But you'll see it in uh, in May for the halfway point to halfway to Halloween kind of thing was what we're going to do. Very good. Also, if you hear anything else squeaking in the background, my, my washer and dryer is literally on the other side of the wall on the other side of the room. Uh, it's a pretty long room. This is above our garage. It's what they call our bonus room, but it's my office slash... There's a TV lounge area back behind me here, too, with a TV. So, And the dogs like to play in here. So it's, But it's right there. And so being above the garage, it, when it gets really, really loud, it'll shake the window. And you'll hear the window like shake the whole time while it's on the spin cycle. Uh, but yeah. Um, so if you hear anything, that's what that is. Really surprised how well this is easy to drink. Really surprised. Again, from BrewDog, it's Pulp Patriot Black Current. A thumbs up for me on that one. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. But yeah. Brewed in Columbus, Ohio. BrewDog. Definitely check them out if you can. I've heard really good things about a lot of their stuff. They do some uh, juicy IPAs I've heard great things about, too. Uh, so definitely, definitely check them out. And then BrewDog, if you happen to see this, great job on this one. It's really well done. And hopefully I can get back up to Columbus in the next couple of years and go to a couple of breweries up there that I want to go to, including this one. So that'd be nice. Wow, that's really good. Really well done. Great flavor profile. Really enjoyable. Really well. Easy to really easy to drink i cannot fucking talk today thank you guys for watching this episode of the cantina thank you guys for joining me today leave a comment down below let me know what you guys are currently drinking what's your favorite craft beer anything you want to talk about down in the comments I always love hearing from you guys so just let me know down below also down below in the description you'll find links to our social media our discord and all the ways you guys can support the channel and i'd appreciate you guys want to help out in any way there's a Streamlabs link for direct donations you become a patron you hit that join button right now to become a channel member. Uh, there's other ways down there you guys can help out, and I would appreciate that very, very much. I want to say thank you to all of my current channel supporters. You guys are fantastic. Your names will probably be scrolling next to me right now instead of in the outro because the canteen has a specific outro without the name scrolling, so you'll probably see them going by me right now or just a little bit afterwards. Also, if you're new to the channel and you do like what you see and you're like, I want to see some more of that, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. That way you can be reminded about all of the content we release here on the Geek Blend. Also, I wanted to say really quickly, also down in the description, you'll find a link to our Teespring store. Only a couple of the designs at the moment, but I am working right now with someone on a couple of different options for Cantina shirts. Uh, so uh, look out for those in the coming couple of months or so. I'm just kind of working on some designs uh, with this person. And uh, when I get two or three different ones, me and Jason are going to go and pick through what we want to do. And, and we'll get some shirts out for the Cantina. So, yes. Also working on a high ground design as well. So keep an eye out for something like that. I appreciate you all very, very much. Thank you for watching. I'm Jeff. This is the Geek Plan. And remember, if you geek about it, we speak about it. See you guys next time. Have a great day.